Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video and I wanted to give an update on the game engine working on, it's been a while since the last one mostly because I was doing a lot of work in the back end it is not easy to showcase in a video and uh, there were no pretty pictures to show but in case you didn't know, mostly I've been focusing on Vulkan so I've been working on the back end for my engine for Vulkan to port it to Vulkan so still same project, same engine, basically render the same thing into Vulkan. Of course, this is not done, it's far from done. So much work to be done, but then kind of stay where I kind of can show something, all right? So if you run the engine as is, this is the old, good old DX12, right? So basically that was where I left off with the DX12 implementation. But uh, one of the first things that you can notice is that I changed, I have a different GPU now. Um, so I have an AMD GPU, an RX 5700XT, but I still have the 2080 Ti in the system, so the engine is able to switch between both, and I'm gonna show you in a moment. But we're here to talk about Vulkan. So here you can see here on this file, right, is a uh, configuration file. That's basically what the engine reads when it starts up and use that to configure a lot of things like the size of the window, where you can find data. One of the things you can do, you can pick the graphics API. So if we type here Vulkan, now here I'm running CMake, um, oops, sorry, uh, to basically, it's gonna copy the file in the right place. Now, if we run, we're gonna see something completely different, right? So we also have a GUI, can move around. Uh, sorry for the flashy images, but that's basically it's the Vulkan backend. So I'm able to render an image, a geometry with a texture, and that's already a lot of work done in the backend. So a lot of stuff is read in the same way as the DX12 engine. So for example, um, the graphics pipeline, which the one that was called um, pipelines this object in the X uh, in the X12, is still being read from my JSON definition, right? For example, this same goes for the root signature, which is a descriptor layout, pipeline layout. So I'm reusing all this. So all the system from the engine I'm going through, you see all the angular widget is still going through the engine. So a lot of work is being reused in the engine. So it's not just a basic Vulkan dump of code, but it's pushing along the normal code path of the engine, right? But, so if I want now, we can change the uh, to be NVIDIA. I usually type any because the first one it picks up is the NVIDIA one, because I have a rule, I have a few rules I can use, but one of those is the largest frame buffer, in this case, the 2080 Ti with 11 gigs. So if I just type any, which is less typing, uh, is gonna pick up the 2080 Ti. So if we run it again, so we see first of all that the background color, the colors are different. That's a known bug uh, that I have in the engine, which I know how to fix. I actually wrote a blog post about I'm gonna release later. And you can see it still works exactly the same. The render is actually quite slow, but this because the card is in the third, sl third slot and it's not the one driving the monitor. So there is the copy made to the other car before going to the monitor, making it slower. But anyway, you can see that when I'm using Vulkan, uh, if I'm running on NVIDIA card, the UI is green. Otherwise, if it is on AMD, it's red, just to make it easier to exactly know which car is running. So that's the basic update uh, I wanted to give and I'm gonna push along uh, with all this. There is still so much to be done, um, it's not even close, but also because my goal is not to go straight to being able to render the same image I had in the X12, uh, but I want to implement some new things, right? So for example, I want to start doing forward render plus, or I want to start handling multiple lights, the DX12 engine only rend render with the directional light and stuff like that. So 
It's not a rush to go feature parity, graphically wise, but I want to implement new things getting along. It's gonna take me longer to get there, but I'm gonna get there with a lot more stuff. Okay, and instead, this is gonna take a while, so it's a lot of engine work, it's not really graphics work. Usually I get tired of engine work after a while and I go back to graphics, then I get tired of graphics, I go back to engine work. Um, so one of the next thing I want to tackle graphics wise that I'm, I will be doing in the X12 and then porting to Vulkan is probably going to be grass for a few reasons. Mostly I want to start loading the GPU a lot more. Um, I have an idea now to do grass that is going to be a lot more mesh shader friendly, which is something I want to use in Vulkan as well. And also it's going to hide the fact that my character has sliding feet like a boss because I don't plan to fix that anytime soon. And so can you two birds with one stone? So this is for this video. As usual, like and subscribe and stay up to date with the new developments.